How's it going you guys? My name is Tuan Tran and welcome to my videos. Alright, so in this installment, this is just a nice little reflection video. Uh, as you can tell, I'm, I'm working out at the gym in Fort Lauderdale. So this is a photo shoot one day after my competition back in June 20, 2015. I was able to get second place so I was very really happy about that and it was a tough competition. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video. but. This video was shot by Joe from MostMuscular.com, so I wanted to give a special thanks to him. And, you know, the thing is, the day after a competition is always a little tricky because I've been dieting so hard and putting so much effort in getting my body in, you know, obviously the best condition state as you know, possible, um, training like crazy, re resistance and cardiovascular training, and doing what I can to make sure I don't get injured. Usually the, the night after the, the show, I usually eat about anywhere from three to f you know, 25 to 3,500 calories, have plenty of drinks to celebrate. And because I had had an alcoholic beverage for, for five weeks leading up to the show. And usually I like to enjoy a, a, little, a few drinks with my wife. So, you know, when you haven't had something in a while, you, you, you try to not go overboard, which hopefully I, I didn't do that because in the video you can see that I'm still maintaining a decent level of definition. Obviously not as conditioned, obviously the day before the day of, but you know, I'm retaining some, some water, you know, I drank a lot of water, had, a few, had some alcohol beverages, ate a lot of food, had a lot of sodium, but I'm still happy with the way I looked the day after. But then, uh, you know, it's just how it is. But anyways, getting back to the video, you can see that this is the day after the competition. So I had a lot of energy, you know, got to sleep, you know, got to eat. So competition's over, anxiety levels are down, and now I'm just kind of finishing up, um, you know, the trip and wanted to do a little bit more work with Joe. So we went back to the gym in Fort Lauderdale. And again, special thanks to them for allowing us to have access to their facilities and to be able to, to produce this uh, photo shoot, video shoot. And, you know, the thing is with uh, muscle media, again, they, they do a urinalysis test. And I understand that a lot of individuals will say that, you know, anyone can cheat that test or, you know, there are ways of going about it. And you know what? You guys are right. However, the, the, under, the thing is, is at least they're trying to do something to level the playing field and try to make it closer to natural drug-free bodybuilding in other federations and organizations. And the thing is, is that this video, I just want to showcase individuals that it is possible to generate a good looking physique through natural means with food, trading, and over the counter supplements like omega 3s or whey protein and multivitamin. That you don't have to resort to compromising your wellness by using a lot of performance enhancing drugs that are extremely powerful and can be very dangerous if, not, if obviously abused. So, you know, just trying to show that bodybuilding or any fitness co competitor can train to work on wellness as well as aesthetics. Okay. And the thing is, is that obviously throughout the year, I'm not going to look like this. So I always like to shoot one of these videos because it allows me to reflect and see how far I have gone and where, you know, where I'm at now and where I would like to be in the future. And for any competitor that just finished competing, you should always take a moment and regardless of how you place or what you, how you did at the show, remember you're at a new level, whether it be mental, physical, and even somewhat spiritual, you have pushed yourself to evolve and to improve. So you should, you should be very happy, pleased, and satisfied that you know you you made a lot of sacrifices to try to improve upon yourself, and then just work on improving upon yourself further. You see, but also take time to live in the present and be happy with uh, what has happened. And the thing is, is uh, and the greatest way to do that is just take a couple pictures and do some some video shoots. And you don't have to be with a professional; you could just have it with friends and family, and you know, that way you can reflect and look back and say, "Wow, you know, I can't believe you know." This is where I, where I'm at today, or this is, I can't believe that I made it this far. And uh, and anyone who's known my history, I started back in 2006 when it came to natural bodybuilding, and you know it's 2015, and it's been a it's been a long road, and a lot has happened, and you know 
I'm glad that I that I'm doing it and I'm still progressing forward in it. And I don't know how many more years I have. Obviously, with responsibility of working, uh, my family, and all these things. I mean, you do what you can, and you got to take care of responsibilities and priorities. But I hope to be able to continue to kind of be a role model for individuals to continue to do fitness competitions without having to resort to PEDs and powerful drugs to enhance their bodies. Anyways, uh, well, in this photo shoot, I just did a lot of random things, just hit a bunch of machines. Joe was trying to direct me as in what exercises to do and, and uh, where, to, where to go because obviously in the video shoot and photo shoot, lighting and, and positioning is everything. You could tell that you know, we're in the same gym, but depending on where I'm at, where I'm standing and where he's standing, it can affect the way you look. So for any individual that's doing a photo shoot or video shoot, you might have uh, to have some understanding of lighting and, sh and shadows and, and to get a better picture. So hopefully this video kind of gives you kind of insight on that as well. All right, but all in all, you know, just wanted to get this information out to you guys. You know, I was able to get some good footage, and then I finally got it so where I could edit it and upload it to YouTube so that you guys could see what I looked like the day after the show. And again, I'm pretty happy that I didn't gain like 10 pounds of water and sodium and that I still have a decent level of definition uh, the day after. As always, take care, and I'll, I hope my videos are moving you forward when it comes to your wellness, aesthetics, and athletic performance. Take care. For those of you living in the Houston area, I provide personal training, nutrition counseling, and wellness sessions for those who are struggling with joint pain and muscular uh, joint deviations. For those of you who live outside of Houston and would like to seek my uh, wellness services, I provide wellness and performance online training. You can sign up for any of the three packages. For those interested in my workout videos and also my exercise videos, I have a website and you can click on the link and go there to sign up to view those videos. Last, I do have an ebook journaling my program as I get ready for bodybuilding competitions and get my body fat percentage below 5%. So for those interested, please uh, visit my website for that. As always, take care, and I hope you're moving towards your fitness, wellness, aesthetics, and performance goals.